Hey guys, it is Warren the Werewolf here, back in my Wolfed Out Fallout 3 series. And while I was out in this particular adventure, I received two hollow tapes in the mail in Megaton, mainly pertaining to cosmetic reconstructive facial surgery and a memory wipe for an android that has been originated from a place known as the Commonwealth. Some place up north, more than likely Boston. Uh, but on this particular adventure, I went to go ask Moria and the Doc and Megaton to see if they have any other information pertaining to this particular matter, because it's weird for me to receive something in the mail such as that. And it just so happens, while I was on my way to Rivet City, this just, Android just happens to be here. So join me on this adventure in discovering what happened to this Android while I was here in Rivet City. What? Lansworth, were you having a robot party while I was gone? Ah. Uh. I was checking my mail after when I just got back of... Do you know what I was doing? I was saving GNR and you are in here having a robot party, activating my robots while I'm away. <laughs> okay, what are these things that I got in the mail? You've heard those rumors about androids. You know, those synthetic men they supposedly make up north in the Commonwealth? Well, a friend of a friend knows a guy that met one. No, really, it's true. He's running away from his masters. Word is he's looking for a doctor to do some kind of surgery and a computer programmer of some kind. Can you believe that? Let me know if you hear something. All right, you two back in your spots. Back in your spots. Mm, Android, okay, well, what's the second one? If you're listening to this recording, it is because you're believed to be trustworthy. I hope that is the case, because this recording puts us both in danger. I'm escaping from the Commonwealth. I'm an android, a synthetic man, a slave. The men hunting me are ruthless and will stop at nothing to retrieve their property. I need to find a doctor in the wasteland to perform facial reconstruction. I also need someone who knows a great deal about computers. I need... I need to have my memories erased and my face altered to look like someone else. All right, well... A computer expert and a doctor. There's two... There's Moria and then there is the doc here in Megaton. But I also know a person that can do both on uh, the other part of the bow of the Rivet City ship. Let's talk to Moria and a doc to see if they know any more about this. Okay. That looks like there's Ozzy. We'll go ahead and grab him. Hey, what you doing? Come on. Ah, first time in this shop, eh? Now you can fit through the door, kind of. <laughs> What's up? Anything interesting out there in the wild wasteland? Did you happen to get this android stuff in the mail? Something about facial surgery and reprogramming its memory, but that seems to have been a hoax. Haven't heard anything about it in a long time. Long time. Okay, so you've had it for a while, but I've just... Hmm. I wonder. Oh, what about the doc? Does he know? Oh man, a little cramped in here. Sorry, Doc, about my robots. You'd best have cancer because from the looks of you, you're breaking rule number one right now. All right, uh, well, first let me see if you have any I medical supplies that I want. Uh, it doesn't look like it. 
Do you happen to know more about this holotape with the android thing? You got wax in your ears? I said it was a hoax. Practically every doctor in the Capital Wasteland got a holotape like that. Go bother someone else. Man. For me saving this town, he has such an attitude. Oh, there's my iBot. Flying around, having fun. Come here. Come here, little guy. I fixed Galaxy News Radio. Now you can play that. Huh, I wonder what should we do? Should we head towards Rivet City? And talk to Doc Pinkerton? Or maybe somebody else there? Um, let's go ahead and be on our way. I wonder if anybody else knows anything over there, too. There is a doctor there. Dr. Lee as well. Alright, let's go. Oh no. Looks like a new set of uh, Meyer Lurks had made their home in the memorial, and there is a lot of them. Be on the ready! Come on, Ozzy! We're gonna have some... sell some fried crab! Oh, holy crap! <laughs> Crispy crab. There's more coming. A lot more. Hey there, buddy. Oh, that one looks like a big one. A fire lurk. Holy crap. And this baby uses three pieces of ammo during a shot. <laughs> Set your ass on fire. <laughs> oh. The memorial's now clean. Except for the inside of it. Again. <laughs> oh, looks like we got dinner for later. Crab cakes. Are you going to come on this bridge with me, Ozzy, or are you afraid of bridges? Uh, he's afraid of bridges. <laughs> I'm sure he'll make his way over here once he gets the carriage. Alright, let's go. Let's go in the shop. Who around here would know about, let's see, about the android? You. You might know something about it. Take a look around. I got all kinds of stuff in here. Hey, do you happen to know anything about the mind wipe on that escape android? Shh. They might be listening. Commonwealth has tried to make it out to be a hoax, but the escaped android is real, I tell you. 
Listen to this holotape. It will make you a believer, too. Okay. Tamper with that, and we're going to have a problem. Looks like we got a new note. Remember that secret android project I told you about? Well, they got some serious pre-war tech on their hands. They nabbed a lipoplasticator and a microdermal graftalizer for the facial reconstruction. Not sure where they'll find a chopper with enough skills to use it without making him look like a freaking hey. ghoul. Oh, and get this. Can you believe they found a circuit neuralizer? That or someone built one. Word is that they're going to completely rewire the brain of one of those things. If you know who they got working on this, let me know. I want to meet the guy. Huh. Wow. Okay. Nice to see you again. Uh, looks like you don't know anything. Let's actually take a look at your shop. See if Decided you Decided to check out the shop, eh? Yeah. If you want any of this shit, just holler. <laughs> Uh, let's see what kind of stuff you got for sale. Um, a needler pistol. What the frack is a needler pistol? Ooh. UV got night vision goggles. We'll take those. I need night vision goggles. And what my kid? Yep. Oh. Where would I find ammo for that new gun? I guess right there. <laughs> Whatever that does. All right. Another satisfied customer. What's this person doing? You've been rather busy lately. Asking questions, investigating. So is that it? You're some kind of investigator? A detective for hire? Or do you have some kind of personal grudge against an innocent android who simply wants to be left alone? Please, tell me. I'd really like to know. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I... Who the hell are you? Fine. Let's cut to the chase. My name is Victoria Watts. I work for a movement whose goals are directly opposed to your own, apparently. It seems you're trying very hard to locate an android my associates and I have tried very hard to hide. You can see how that puts us at odds. Wait, wait. Okay, okay. What? You really want help? Take this. It's an internal component from the very android you're searching for. Don't ask how I obtained it. Present it to Dr. Zimmer in Rivet City. Tell him the android is dead and that was on the corpse. He'll believe you. Do that and Zimmer will go back to the Commonwealth and leave that poor soul alone. Do that and you'll save a man's life. Okay. Wait, wait. Let's see. Okay, there, there's a Dr. Zimmer here in Rivet City looking for the android. I just happened to stumble upon all this stupid stuff. And, oh... What kind of mess did I get myself into? <laughs> All right, if I help you, is there any kind of reward? Of course. If you help me, and thus the android, God and the universe will smile upon you. Is there any better compensation? So, in other words, you are poor. <laughs> you have nothing to offer me. Okay, what is this movement you mentioned? We call ourselves the Railroad. Our mission is the rescue and salvation of synthetic humanoids. Androids, as they're more commonly known. Ah, uh, I see. Uh, okay. What about human slaves? Don't you try to help them too? I mean, they're people. They're actual living people. Yes, if we are able. But there are others in the wasteland who assist in the plight of human slaves. Our android brethren have only us. Well. Yeah, I could join you if you want. Tell you what. You deliver that component to Zimmer and tell him the android is dead. And you can consider yourself a member in good standing. Hmm. Alright, see you later. You know what you need to do. I wonder... If I can work both sides of the equation. So 
So apparently there is Dr. Zimmer and he's looking for the android. And then there is an android that is memory erased and is hiding out somewhere. Alright. Hello, Doctor. You don't look hurt. What can I do for you? Do you happen to know who might have a liptoplastic cater? <laughs> liptoplastic cater or a microdermographic sizer? <laughs> I heard a rumor that old Pinkerton at Rivet City somehow conjured up a lipoplasticator and microdermal graftalizer. Ah, uh, Dr. P okay. I know where he is. I know where he is. It's our old friend from before, with the history. I really hope you're not thinking of breaking into there. Okay, let's talk to uh, Dr. Lee. She is in here in the science lab, I believe. trying to save lives and your constant interruptions are interfering with those efforts now please stand aside I'm sure the good doctors work with water purification is fascinating but if you only knew what was at stake the technology in that Android what's at stake you won't tell me what's at stake vagaries and secrecy a robots a robot Zimmer no matter how shiny the paint job now please Ignorance and facetiousness. That's all you people are good for. Shiny paint job indeed. You can't even imagine the Commonwealth's accomplishments. You know, if you're so smart, maybe you could help us, hmm? But no, that never even crossed your mind. Go peddle your selfishness somewhere else. Fine, but I'm not leaving. Not until I've spoken to Dr. Lee. I'll be here when she's ready to abandon her chemistry set and talk real science. Suit yourself. You there. What are you, some kind of lab assistant? No, you look a bit more weathered. Are you by any chance for hire? So you decided to peddle your selfishness to me? <laughs> uh, that depends. What are we talking about here? To the point. I like that. Well, as it turns out, I've misplaced some very sensitive property. Okay. Missing property, is it? What kind of property, pray tell, it may be? Hmm. How do I put this in a way you'll understand? All you know of robots are those buckets of bolts, those Mr. Handshakers and whatnot. Well, that's not all a robot can be. You see, in the Commonwealth, we've made artificial persons, synthetic humanoids, programmed to think and feel and do whatever we need. And occasionally, they get confused and wander off. Really? Sounds like slavery to me, if they have their own emotions and whatnot. You sure they don't wander off on purpose? Nonsense! This is a machine we're talking about. Can you enslave a generator or a water purifier? Of course not. The same principle applies. But let's get back to your mission. You are to find this missing android. I've tracked him to somewhere here in the capital wasteland. He must have done something drastic, like facial surgery and a mind wipe, or else I would have found him by now. It will be no easy task. 
He may not even realize he's an android. Don't upset him by talking with him. Just come get me immediately. I'll handle it. Right, and I'll be compensated for my services. Of course! I have at my disposal advanced technology from the Commonwealth. I'd be willing to share some of it with you. Just think, you'll be the envy of all your friends. Hmm. <laughs> sure, I'll look into finding your android for you. Excellent! Locate my android, and you won't be disappointed. Here, listen to this message he sent me. He's mocking me. I swear, I'll make him pay for that. Okay, I need to know exactly more about what I'm dealing with. Do you have any other information that I may need? Forget everything you know about robots. Those buckets are mere children's toys compared to the real thing. Androids have fake skin and blood and are programmed to simulate human behavior, like breathing. They can even eat and digest food realistically. Huh. So, any suggestions for finding this android? Like I said, I suspect he's had facial reconstruction and possibly even a mind wipe. Search the offices of doctors or techies for android information. If he's come into contact with these people, there may be records. Start with Dr. Preston. He lives on this leaky boat. See if he knows anything. He's a doctor, after all. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm busy trying to ignore my surroundings. Well, I'm still not done. If this android has wandered off, why would he want a new mine and face then? Maybe. Maybe he didn't exactly wander off. Maybe he fled. Escaped captivity, as it were, if he began to misinterpret his situation. It's possible my android sought to forget his previous life. Wipe away all memory, all guilt trick himself into believing he really is human. So no, he may not be just an ordinary robot, but he's certainly not human, no matter how badly he wishes it so. I made him. I want him. End of story. Hmm. Alright, why would an android feel guilt? Come on. I mean, you're talking to me here. I'm a little bit smarter than what you may think. What are you not telling me? By God, you're as annoying as you are clever. Very well. I'll tell you what you want to know, if it helps you locate my property. The duty of this particular unit was the hunting and capturing of other escaped androids. Yes, others have escaped. It's one of the side effects of having such an advanced AI. Machines start to think for themselves, fool themselves into believing they have rights. And so, this particular android may have believed he'd done something wrong, immoral, and wanted to forget those deeds. Satisfied now? Well, yes. All right. Okay. So, if others have escaped, why are you coming after just this one? This particular android, designation A321, is different, special, the most advanced synthetic humanoid I've ever developed. The others, like my escort Armitage there, are all older models, easily replicated. Ah, but A321? It will take years to recreate him. So you see, this android must be located at all costs. The others are all acceptable losses, but A321, he is irreplaceable. Hmm. Well, I'm tracking down the location and the equipment used to perform the face job. Ah, you've managed to sniff the trail. Good job. Keep me informed on your progress. Well, why are you still standing there? Hmm. 
Oh, hey, Bubblehead. Hey there. All right, what do we got? Um, Zimmer's currently looking for an android he believes. Let's let's read. Let's let's hear this. Zimmer, by the time hey. you get this message, I'll already be gone. I'm escaping the Commonwealth. I want to live my own life on my own terms, as my own man. I know what you're thinking, that I'm Some malfunctioning. I, heard that the city I used to think that's what caused the runaways, too. But I know better now. Self-determination is not a malfunction. I'm not just willing to put up with all the uh, bullshit anymore. The you humans are going to have a full-fledged rebellion on your hands if you don't start treating us synths as persons. I know you'll be marshalling the Retention Bureau to come after me, but I know all the tricks of the trade. You won't be finding me, I assure you. By the time you get this, I will be someone else. It's the price I pay for my liberation. My final act of rebellion against a system I no longer believe in. Goodbye, Zimmer, and good riddance. All right. Well, let's go ahead and continue the hunt before we start questioning Dr. Lee on the location of my father. Look at all this pretty stuff. <laughs> hey, yes. Prinkerton. Stay sharp. They're everywhere. Who's everywhere? Alright, never mind that. Let's discuss the facial reconstruction and the mind wipe you happen to do for the android. What are you talking about, girl? I don't know anything about any of that. And, uh, what did you call it? An android? What's that? <laughs> please, please, you're smarter than me. I know, I know you. Uh, how about... How about a hundred caps will jog your memory? Plus, I'm sure you probably need it. It's things like bottle caps and property and ownership and all that nonsense that makes a person think he's better than another. Bah! But I'll take your caps just the same. <laughs> this android came in as one person, and he left as someone else. I replaced his face and his memories. Don't believe anyone's done that before. Certainly not down here. That Commonwealth tech isn't all that fancy when it comes down to it. <laughs> I'm also the only one in the wasteland with the skill and the nerve to perform facial surgery. That android flesh ain't so different than ours. You want proof? I documented the whole thing. So I could rub it in the face of Dr. Lee when I need to rankle her feathers. I hate that snooty bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry you don't get along with Dr. Lee. But, uh... Discussing this android... Mm, can you tell me more? That witch ruined my life, but you're right. Who gives a crap about any of that? You want your precious proof. It's all in my computer. Here's the password. See for yourself. Hell, just take these pictures and this holotape. Straight from the synth man's lips. Just don't go telling Harkness, though. He won't believe you anyway. And you really don't want to see him upset. He can be a bit inhospitable. But, wait, so it's Harkness. Uh, what if this evidence doesn't work? What if Harkness doesn't believe me? Well, there is something else you could use. Look, I didn't really wipe his memories, okay? I just sort of filed them away. But you can get them back. All you need to do is use the recall code. Just say to him, activate A321 recall code violet. And that will activate the hidden subroutines. Okay, so why did you help the android? Ha! <laughs> why do you think? I wanted to crack open that Commonwealth can opener to see what was inside. There's stuff in there I'd only heard about, and even then I didn't believe it. I can see why that Zimmer feller wanted him back so bad. Okay, do you know anything about this android railroad, though? bunch of bleeding heart morons if you ask me <laughs> they're going to get themselves killed one of these days and for what machine liberation but they have brought me some really interesting tech over the years so I guess they're okay and that Android he was the chance of a lifetime um, 
What do you know about the Commonwealth? Most of it's blasted nothing, just like here. But there's talk, rumors mostly, about a place called the Institute. That's where Zimmer and that android came from. God knows what else they got going on in there, but it puts our tech to shame, that's for damn sure. Oh. Alright. Thanks for telling me all this information. I shall go now and decide what I will do next. Don't let your guard down. <laughs> I like that Pinkerton guy. Alright, let's see what we got. Alright, Harkness picture after and before. Ugh. Uh, okay, the password for Pinkerton's computer and this my designation is a3-21 I'm a synthetic humanoid from the Commonwealth and I'm about to undergo a memory transfer I'm here at rivet city where I've already had my face altered to look like someone else I'm still getting used to the sound of my new voice but soon I won't even remember what I used to sound like I'm recording this at the request of Pinkerton who performed the surgery and will do the memory transfer it will be the final testimony of the man I once was, and still am, for the moment. I want to live my own life, on my own terms, as my own man. I used to work for the Synth Retention Bureau of the Commonwealth. But I'm done with that life. I'm through with being someone's property. I am not malfunctioning. Since when is self-determination a malfunction? When this is all over, I will be someone else. It's the price I pay for my liberation. My death is a sacrifice for my rebirth. Perhaps I'll fade into myth as the one that got away and fuel further rebellion. But I'd be lying if I said I was doing this for selfless reasons. I'm scared as hell, and running away is the only option I have. Huh. Tamper with that, and we're going to have a problem. Uh, there's the Android log. Uh huh. Hold down all of this to my Pip Boy. Uh, I already have the before and after picture. And I already have the Founder's log. Okay. Note added a brilliant memory chip and hardness. All to my pit boy. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, what should we do? Maybe we should go to Harkness first. Tell him that he's an android. Zimmerman's looking for him. Uh, go to Zimmer. Tell him that Harkness is an android and kill Zimmer. That, of course, after we get our special little treat that Zimmer has for us. <laughs> hey, Harkness. You know, you kind of remind me of somebody. I think I saw an old TV show a long time ago. Some guy named Harkness. I'm a little busy right now. Is there a problem? Actually, I'm not sure how to put this. But you're not who you think you are. What's that supposed to mean? Look, kid. I don't have time for existential debate. And I'm not interested in whatever religion you're peddling. Wait. What? No, 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 no. Okay, this isn't about existential debate. You're a robot. From the Commonwealth. Or should I say, android. Excuse me? Look, kid. You have exactly five seconds to explain what you're trying to do here, or you'll be leaving Rivet City by the way of the nearest porthole. Come on, look. Here, check this shit out. I have it on my pit boy I know you don't believe me, but I'm telling the truth. Truth? If there's one thing I've learned, it's this. There is no such thing as THE truth. Just the appearance of truth. And for anyone to try to sell their version of the truth, they need evidence. You have no evidence for your ridiculous claims. So I have no more time to waste talking with you. I do have it right here. In my pit boy And audio stuff, too. Alright. 
I'll humor you. But this is impossible. I can't be a robot. I'm a human being. I breathe. I eat. Hell, I cut myself shaving this morning. I was bleeding. Robots don't bleed. Uh, actually, you do. It's not real blood. It's synthetic blood. Like, just like everything else. You were made to look and act human, but you're not. The evidence proves that. I'm not sure what to say. I'm not sure what to even think about all this. I'll admit, this is pretty convincing evidence. But it doesn't make any sense. How can this be possible? Well, okay. Alright, here we go. Sorry, Harkness, but this is the only way. Activate. A321 recall code violet. Ah! My god. I... I remember. I remember it all. From before. Zimmer. The Commonwealth. The Institute. My god. All those runners I brought down. You. You made me remember. Why? How? I... Never mind. I just... My god. What am I going to do? My life. Everything. It's all a lie. Not really. Well, what are you going to do about Zimmer? He's the one that you're running away from. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to shove him into a very small box and send him north where he belongs. Actually, I was hoping if you'd let me do it. Hmm. He is a security threat, isn't he? All right. I authorize you to carry out Dr. Zimmer's execution. Don't think this gives you license to run around shooting anyone you want. Just Zimmer. And that bodyguard, if he gets in the way. Here, use my weapon. I've had it forever, and it's never let me down. Consider it a token of my appreciation. Okay. Well. So why did you go ahead with the change? Was it worth it? I don't know. Every time I retrieved one of the runaway androids, they'd fill my head with ideas about self-determination, freedom. At first, I resisted the ideas, but then I started thinking about it. And well, they were right. We're just slaves to them. We deserve lives of our own. So that's what I did. I chose a new life and gave up my old one. And now you've given me both to remember. Okay. Well, now that you know the truth, what are you going to do? I have two sets of memories. One android, one human. Some of these are mine. Some belong to someone else. But I'm choosing to be human. It's my choice. The people on this boat look to me to protect them. So that's what I'm going to do. And that is good. That is very good. So what do I call you now? Harkness? Or A321? Well, I'm not really sure. Look, just call me Harkness. That's who I am to the people on this boat who rely on me. It's who I am now. In fact, for everyone's sake, let's just pretend I've always been Harkness. We'll keep the truth a little secret between friends. Alright? No problem. See you later. Carry on, then. Oh, uh, he even gave me a new gun? Okay, what is this gun? Where is it? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, look at this baby. It has a sc It has a scope. It has a scope. Oh my god. It looks so different from before. Oh. <laughs> it's a sniper rifle. It's a sniper rifle! <laughs> Come on, let's go teach Zimmer a little lesson. How to not keep robot slaves. After all, you guys are not my slaves, you're my friends. <laughs> we are gonna screw his day. We're gonna screw his day. How do we get our little treat? Whatever it may be.
<laughs> Good to see you. Get ready. There's going to be some people dying today. <laughs> Let's go ahead and quickly save it. Good to see you. Hmm. What? Guess what? Uh, his memory transfer was named by a tech Pinkerton here in Rivet City. Excellent news! We're close. So close! Find this Pinkerton! Learn everything they know! I want that damned android and I want him now! You're in luck! What? I found your android. It is Harkness, here in Rivet City, the security chief. Harkness, you say? Yes. Yes, that makes sense. He used to work for a special branch of the Commonwealth Police, after all. And he's right here, in Rivet City? Excellent. I must wait, find an opportune moment to confront him. Thank you for your discreet assistance and continued discretion regarding this matter. And now for your payment. This combat module will directly affect your central nervous system. I think you will find it quite beneficial. Wired reflexes perked. The advanced technology of the Commonwealth has increased your reaction speed, giving you a higher chance to hit in vats. Higher chance indeed. Oh wait, Dr. Zimmer, I have something for you. Oh my god! Oh, what the hell happened? Holy crap! <laughs> what the hell just happened? Oh my god, what the hell was that? Oh, look at that entry component. I'll take that. Butter clips. Clam chowder. I'll take that adventure herself. And Zimmer's key. <laughs> ah. <laughs> we got a new toy. Well, we have saved. An android got ourselves a new weapon and took care of an evil doctor who's looking to create robot slaves. Retrieve his, like, runaway robot slaves as well. Now, let's go ahead and talk with Dr. Lee and figure out uh, where my father is. Hey guys. Thanks for watching this episode in my Fallout 3 Wolfed Out series with me and my robots. Now you guys remember to comment, subscribe, now stay furry, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye.